Hi there, Bill Clark here at NIAB Cambridge. Just wanted to give you a quick update on where we were with serials this year. Clearly we're not going to be meeting you on the site this year as we normally do. We always like to welcome our members and particularly look through the demonstration plots. But clearly we're not going to do that this year. But the plots are still going to be there and we are going to do some virtual tours for you through the plots. These are the plots at the end of April. You can see they're looking pretty good and quite advanced. And I'll mention a bit about the growth stages in a minute. So we have the variety plots. We have some fungicide plots here as well. So these are demonstration plots of the new fungicides and a bit of a timeline going through straight triazole, triazole bravo, STHIs, Revastar, and we will have some inner trek plots there to see how the um, performance of that will be for you for next year. So we have a timeline going from sort of the mid 70s, 80s, right through to the present day and into into next year. Variety plots are looking very good. They are at a, a T1 timing now, and you can see very big differences even even today on the varieties. This is just a, a good example of some very clean plots. We've got KWS X days on the left, which we expect to be fairly clean. It still has Septoria in the plots, but it is quite clean alongside Siskin, which again looks pretty clean. The X days is looking very, very clean indeed. There is a little bit of Septoria in the bottom, but um, you can see very, very um, free of disease generally. We have similar plots. Theodore, another very unresponsive variety, very clean. No sign of um, much septoria in those plots. This is Graham. Graham always looks a little bit um, sort of scrappy at this time of the year with some yellowing and tipping. Interesting, none of that is yellow rust. There's, there's no yellow rust on the Graham at all. But you don't have to look very far before you can find very, very active yellow rust in some of the other plots. So we have yellow rust typically in Gleam and Kinetic, but interestingly not in Graham or in Zayat. And this just reflects what we saw last year where there was a very big regional difference in the levels of yellow rust that we were seeing on certain varieties. And Zayat was one of those where in some sites, particularly last year down in Essex, there were quite high levels of rust where a lot of people didn't see any yellow rust on Zayat at all last year. Growth stages are interesting at the moment. They, most of those are at T1. They're a good growth stage 32. But there are some plots there where leaf 2 is actually emerging. The tip of leaf 2, um, maybe a third of the leaf is emerged. So it's it's a very advanced stage for, for a growth stage 32. Most look like this. This is just a, a typical growth stage 32, leaf 3, about two thirds of the way out perfectly good um, T1 timing, perfect for your, for your first fungicide. So these are the plots in uh, end of April. So we'll be revisiting the site throughout the season and we'll pick up on the disease levels and we'll show you how some of those new fungicides are performing. So I'll see you later in the season.